Hey everyone, welcome to installment number 16 in the ICOM IC7300 from A to Z series. Today we're going to take a look at split frequency operation and also adjusting the transmit bandwidth. We've got a lot to cover so let's get started. Let's take a look at split frequency operation. We did talk th about this a little bit in a previous episode. Split frequency operation which is the button right here that says split is where you're going to transmit and receive on different frequencies on HF this is frequently used for de expeditions uh, sometimes in contests rare DX stations will often call CQ and then they will say that they're listening up 5 or up 10 or up 25 which is in kilohertz they're listening at a frequency away from where they're transmitting and sometimes they'll say list uh, excuse me listening up 5 to 10 so that gives them a range to tune over where everybody that's trying to go back to them is going back to them on those frequencies and then it keeps their transmit frequency a little more clear for other people trying to listen to them so let's take a look at how that works on the 7300 so with split you just press it and you're now in split operation and it shows you your transmit frequency here your receive frequency here and this uses VFO A and B now in the manual they talk about something called quick split operation which is really just automatically setting the VFO A and B frequencies the same uh, if you press and hold the split button for a second it'll beep or you'll get a double beep and you'll notice the frequencies are set to the same and if I hit the A slash B as I go between the two VFOs you'll see they are the same so now if you want to go up or down wherever you want to transmit you can do it in one of two ways you can switch to the B VFO and then change to let's just say I'm gonna go up here to 7200 7203 and I'm going to transmit up here so now when I go back to A my AVFO is here the receive frequency is always shown on the main dial and your transmit frequency is shown in the little sub menu down here and if you want to quickly listen on your transmit frequency say to make sure it's clear if you press the XFC button it'll just momentarily reverse the two and it'll put the transmit frequency into the receive and it also when it when you um, press it and it puts the transmit frequency here it also changes the lower display to show where you're transmitting relative to the receive frequency so right now my transmit frequency is 42.09 kilohertz up from my receive frequency so that's really all there is to it and then of course actually here let me uh, let me turn my RF power all the way down so I'm not actually transmitting so when I key the mic you'll see that my transmit frequency changes to the transmit frequency shown down here on the display and also we'll talk about this really soon when we get to the spectrum scope I have the transmit marker turned on so you can see here uh, the little brown line shows where my transmit frequency is the green line shows my receive so if I move receive around you see that here and if I press the XFC button while I'm holding it I can also tune and you'll see that shows the transmit marker moving to my transmit frequency so that's another feature of the XFC button while you're holding it you can adjust your transmit frequency kind of have a, you need to have a little finger dexterity or you could use two hands um, but you can change your transmit frequency only and then go back to here now a couple other things that they don't mention in this part of the manual with the split I mentioned that you can uh, so if sorry let me back up right now my transmit and receive frequencies are different so if I turn split off as I mentioned if I press and hold split it puts you into split mode and sets the two frequencies the same between VFOA and B 
you'll see it switching here. Whoops, sorry. You'll see it switching here, but you see the frequencies stay the same. Um, another way that you can set them the same, and let me just set them so they're different. So I'll go back to A. If you if you press the A B button, it switches you back and forth. Regardless of which VFO you're on, if you press and hold the A B button, it will you'll get a double beep after one second, and then that also sets the two VFOs to the same frequency. That doesn't put you into split mode though; it just sets the two the same. So, uh, whenever you press and hold A B, it will set the other VFO, whichever one you're not on, to your current frequency. Split does the same thing, but also turns on split mode. Now there is one other function that they call split lock, and this is maybe if you're uh, if there's a D expedition and they're always operating on the same frequency, and you want to make really really sure that you don't mess it up. And let's just for the sake of example here, I'm going to turn this up so I can hear it. Um, you've got the audio so that you can hear it here uh, so here's somebody on here and let's just say that this guy is some really rare DX station and I wanna make really really sure I don't mess up that frequency uh, we haven't talked about this before there's the lock button here and it's on the speech button if you press this momentarily the radio will speak your frequency and mode. If you press and hold it, it turns on the dial lock and you see the little key there and the dial doesn't do anything now so your frequency is locked here. If I press the, tran the XFC to see my transmit frequency, it changes to my transmit frequency and the dial is still locked. Now there's a function called split lock which we have to go into the menu to activate. So we're going to go to the menu, you hit set, you're going to go to function, and it's about three pages down from the top, I think. Yeah, so you go to split, and then here's split lock. The default is off. If we turn split lock on, what that does, it, it basically unlocks the dial only for the XFC button. So my dial is still locked, I can't change the frequency. But now with split lock on, if I press XFC, I can change my transmit frequency. So you can still adjust your transmit frequency while you're holding the XFC button, but you can't change your receive. So your receive is locked, but you can adjust your transmit. So if that rare DX station is saying, okay, I'm listening up 25, then you can go down and set that to 25. And you know then you can adjust it later and again when you are uh, pressing this you'll you'll notice and I'll give you some rig audio here you'll notice that you're listening to uh, the frequency that's in this display it, it temporarily sets your receive frequency to the transmit frequency so that also gives you puts you on that frequency so you can hear what's going on up there and that's pretty much it for uh, for split. Oh, I'm sorry. One other minor thing, uh, or I guess maybe important thing with split. So right now we've been doing split within the same band. There is nothing on the radio that prevents the split from operating across bands. So um, for example, so we'll go, I'll set it to VFOB. And I'll put VFOB on uh, 15 meters, say. Go back to VFOA, and I'm going to just momentarily press, press split. And now you'll see the 15 meter frequency is my transmit frequency. And if I push the XFC button, it says that my transmit frequency is 14.2 megahertz up from my receive frequency. Okay. And of course, when I key the rig, it switches up to 15 meters. So you can receive on one band and transmit on another. That's not really too common. Um, there were some satellites. I don't know if there's still any satellites that work on 10 meters. There were a few that worked on 10 meters, and I think they split between 10 and 6 or maybe 10 and 2 where they had a mode. You could uh, 
it would receive on one of those bands and transmit on another. So you could theoretically do splits up at 10 meters on cross band, but I haven't really seen it done too much on HF. So that's it for split. Hope this uh, clears things up. One of the nice things about the 7300 that's a little beyond what you get in a entry level and entry level rig is that you can tailor your transmit bandwidth on sideband. So let's take a look at that. You press the function button and then you have the transmit bandwidth button here, TBW. We touched on this a little bit when we were looking at the compressor. And I've got the transmit bandwidth on wide, and if you press it, you get mid. Press it again, you get narrow. And those are your three choices. Unlike some of the other functions, if you press and hold the transmit bandwidth button on the screen, you don't get to the menu that lets you adjust it. Uh, but we can take a look at how you get there with the menu button. So let's leave it set at wide for the moment. If you press menu and then set the tone control menu and it's tone control slash TBW allows you to adjust the transmit bandwidth. So if we go into TX and then on sideband we select it and you've got bass and treble and then you've got your wide, mid, and if we go down one, narrow transmit bandwidth. So the default settings that the rig comes programmed with in wide mode it's 100 to 2900 Hertz so your transmit bandwidth is 2.8 kilohertz wide if you go to the mid setting the default setting is 300 to 2700 so you're 2.4 kilohertz wide and then the narrow setting is 500 to 2500 so you are 2 kilohertz wide now you can adjust each of these as you see when I go into the sorry I should so if you touch any of them it takes you to the setting screen and then you can adjust it now you can only adjust the bottom up to 500 and then you can only adjust the top down to 2500 so you don't have a whole lot of adjustment here this basically just set wide to the same as narrow so um, your lowest frequency is 100 Hertz your highest frequency is 2900 Hertz so you can adjust them you can't tailor it a lot as I said you know the 300 to 2700 I could go you know make it 200 to 28 or 400 to 26 um, whoops and I wanted to go down here and then the narrow 2 kilohertz as is narrow you as you can make it but it does give you some adjustment and then of course you can also adjust your bass and treble so you can adjust your equalization here as well now on the data mode although we're not really talking about data mode tonight I might as well show you that here SSB D which is data mode you can adjust your transmit bandwidth there as well it's set to the de the default setting is the same as mid in the SSB voice mode and you notice I don't have any mid narrow or wide it's just the single transmit bandwidth for data mode so basically it gives you 2.4 kilohertz you know if you wanted to set that wider I don't really know why you would because most of the data modes you're in a much narrower um, spectrum of frequencies anyway so this is probably fine to leave it here but you do have some adjustment if you want and then of course in AM you can you have equalization and in FM you have equalization but in both of those you don't have any control over bandwidth the bandwidth is fixed in those modes so that's it for transmit bandwidth on the 7300 well that does it for this time next time we're gonna be skipping ahead and we're gonna cover something that's been part of the backdrop for just about every one of the videos so far and that's section five, the spectrum scope. And for those of you that are CW or RIDI enthusiasts, which is what most of the rest of section four covers, I will be circling back and covering those as well. But next time, we're going to start with section five and the spectrum scope. I'm Tom, WA2IVD. As always, 
Thanks for watching. Ham Cured Smoke. <laughs>